okay in previous video you might have seen that we have done I mean we have made the call to our services web service using a jQuery without using any parameters I mean we simply used to call the method and method used to return something you know pretty basic but now in this video we'll go one step ahead we'll be passing a crazy objects or crazy parameters and based on that our service will give us a response back in terms of a JSON okay so how will we do that so let's check the code as you remember previously what we did was like I had a button on button I used to call a service the name of a service I'm sorry uh, a method is a call service now this method has a responsibility to call that method I mean uh, to make a Ajax call and call a service right and as you can see I have the service in place right so initially we if you remember the last time we had a jigsaw service which used to return simply a date time right nothing special and please remember this line if you're making a jquery call or ajax call from a client side to our service this line needs to be there if this line is commented then your call is not gonna happen you will get the fire zero zero right okay so now as you can see I got two methods right I mean both the methods are the same name pretty crazy <coughs> I mean uh, there is no such concept of overloading in case of web service and WCF it's so to, in order to come over this like you can have the same name method name but you are supposed to pass the message name is equal to something you know much better because in the end it generates a structure right in which they cannot I mean uh, do the stuff so this is what they came up with okay so Technically speaking, when I'll call this method, actually I have to specify something like this. So let's go to call service method. Call service method is gonna call our service, right? <coughs> it's going to be an Ajax call. First parameter type. Type is either is going to be a get or post. In our case, it will be post. Fine. Next thing is a URL where exactly your service is located and which function you want to call right now my service is located at this path I mean at the root if you can see this is my root and I have my service inside of which I showed you I got a jigsaw method right but right now first I'll call the ok method okay ok method has no parameters so data is empty next thing you're telling the server okay I'll be giving you the JSON you give me back JSON okay so giving you and giving back is JSON on success and failure you have the respective methods based on which you will call and you will get I mean you handle the response accordingly right <coughs> so let's run this guy so as you can see when I click this guy I get the response something from the service and if you can check my service pretty straightforward service <coughs> I mean what nothing you need to pass it will return a daytime plus jigsaw string okay next call this guy let's go one step ahead now we'll be calling this guy jigsaw but this method requires a parameter if I don't pass the parameter and if I try to run hopefully I should get the error let's check again see you got the error because the method expects a parameter so we'll be passing a parameter and you gotta be very careful uh, you'll be passing a parameter in terms of a JSON format. JSON format is very simple key pair value. I mean, you have a key and you have a value, right? Suppose your method has one parameter. If we take a look at my method, jigsaw method, it has one parameter, it has a name. I mean, I believe generally you should provide the same parameter from where you're making the call. So, exactly, I copied from this and I paste it over here, right? So, I paste it over here and I simply just written one statement making a jQuery call and passing a parameter is very very easy in case of this right so now if I comment this guy I save it and I come here and refresh my browser and I try again you can see right so as you saw the parameter string which you have passed right here is in pass along to the service and service has returned you the same thing what exactly you have passed right <coughs> so it does very it becomes very easy you know to make a call to service okay so now lo let's go back to our service and check how many service do we have we have one more service which returns an employee object which returns an employee object and 
the name of that employee is I'm just returning an employee object jigsaw and blah 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 okay so we'll be calling this method now and this method does not require any parameters but let's see and the method name should come here okay and there's one more change response need to be changed anyways I'm gonna hit the alert first so you guys can see what exactly you're getting right in the JSON response so let's refresh that's it after the refresh when you make a call to get employee you get the object right the D which exactly you got was the object now it has the properties I mean the employee car class has a properties ID first name last name and as you can see the last name something went wrong with last name let me check but actually you see right you got the object and the values got filled which exactly you will be passing from here okay last name last name first name okay let me check the class first name okay 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 last name service okay first name and this guy needs to be last name I mean it is very much case sensitive like the property name was last name and I was trying to access from this object response dot D you get from the service right that would be your employee object and you try to access the last name property this property it was case sensitive so the value was coming undefined but now if we try let's refresh one more time and let's try again we got the object yes now we got the correct value right so we can clearly see I have got the employee object back right let's try something more crazy and that would be uh, the last method in this method I will add an ID and uh, this method will return me an employee fine pretty basic method I'm returning a list of employees these are my colleagues and they have their specialties right so out of which whatever ID you pass me through the collection I get the ID I return simply the employee object so over here I need to pass an ID so I'll pass ID okay as and I'll we are passing the ID so this guy should be commented and I'll be passing the ID as 4 I don't know who's at 4 let's see so when you make a call you get the object and you get again you got jigsaw whoops okay I forgot to change the method name return one employee and paste right so let's refresh let's call again and this time you can see ID is 4 the name is Aaron and his speciality is this one okay so pretty much basic okay so what else what else we can do okay <coughs> apart from this you know there are right now this method is returning a simple employee I mean using JSON you can do a lot <coughs> I mean imagine uh, you're getting the list back from the service right now I'm just returning a one employee but imagine if I'm returning the list of all employees right so once I have the list of all employees at the end of JSON I can do JSON parse JSON pass is the <coughs> method which we'll be discussing in the next video and that using that you can very well you know simply create the table whole table and the table you it will appear to be like it's a grid view or list view you will fill all the values directly so imagine <coughs> Uh, if there are thousand and thousand of records and if you're making this call and this call is not posting the whole thing to the server it will it is simply giving you the result back in the JSON format which is very very light weighted which uh, or if you try to access your fiddler and see how much time I mean the data is transferred you will find it is very less as compared to the normal pushback okay so this was the video regarding how do you pass a parameter and you get the response back you should always try for you know uh, the list thing you get the list try to draw the table using jquery each function try to draw the table try to fill in the values 
I mean keep the thing basics after that we got plenty of plugins on the table you can sort again for paging you can create your own methods I mean things become very simple and easy and very light weight you know <coughs> so that's why this Ajax call using a JSON if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching